This recent volatility this year has been fairly challenging to trade for most traders. If you're not used to trading volatility, this whipsawing has taken out a lot of folks in their back and forth, and there's been a lot of stop hunting as well. In this video, I want to show you a new update to our stock volatility box models that I'm going to be pushing out for all of our stock volatility box members in the next few weeks. These models I've updated specifically for this current volatility regime, and you should find that the stops, targets, and entries are a lot better and more useful, and you'll find more trades in the markets that you like to trade. Let me show you an example instead of just talking about the differences, and we'll use the S&P 500 and the Qs to take a look at what's different. Now first off, inside of the S&P 500, we start with the daily time frame chart, and you can see just how much greater that volatility has been, especially in that April time frame. Now we zoom in to our intraday time frame, and I have our new models loaded on. These are the new aggressive volatility box models, again, designed especially for this current volatility and to help maximize what I think is going to be this new volatility regime and the new volatility conditions for at least the shorter term future. Now with the new volatility box models, this is where we had the breach this morning. We had a breach in the 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific hour. Price breached our sign entry lines and then we went to tag our volatility box clouds. This is on the one minute time frame where we then had the edge signal confirmation, which is our custom overbought oversold indication. Think of it as the RSI on steroids. That tells you that we're now officially in overbought territory looking for a reversal. Now, right after this, we head into the lunchtime hour. I've talked about this in previous videos. Why well, I think this hour is best sat out instead of trying to participate in a trade. And you'll see exactly how that plays out here. We go stop hunting, the market makers go stop hunting, taking out stops right above our key pivot point here. Right as soon as those stops are taken out, as soon as that lunchtime hour ends, this is the 10 a.m. mark, take a look at what happens to momentum, completely reverses. For those of you that don't like the one minute time frame chart, the five minute here gets about as clean as you can get it to the edge signal confirmation, telling you exactly where we're expecting a reversal and we're now officially in overbought territory. Now this is the S&P 500. Let's now contrast this with our existing stock volatility box models so you can see how these current models are a little bit more effective. Not only did we see a breach with the current models, but we had both stops and targets that allowed us to make sense of this current volatility. And you'll see how we continue to improve that as we move on to this new volatility regime. And we'll start to have better setups as well that allows us to go for more risk to reward trades, risking one to go for two or three or even four. Now let's move on to the queues and I'll show you how the same setup contrasted in the queues. Now the queues are a little bit different because the queues had more volatility today. This is with our normal current existing hourly volatility box models where we breached our sign entry line inside of the queues. Same concept breach, then we're looking for our reversal signal and once we see that reversal signal, we want to place our stop outside of the models. Whatever we risk, we're trying to go for that same amount on our first target, a one-to-one -one risk to reward. Now inside of the queues, you'll see that we barely breached our models. And from there, we chopped. And then it's into the close that we really saw that selling accelerate from our key sign level. Now with our new models, I think you'll find that you have a slightly better entry, even in a market like the queues. You get to use something like the clouds. That was near 492 today. A little bit of heat, yes, 492.70, but not a whole lot. Stop still outside of the clouds. Take a look at how much better of an entry that gives you. You're able to not only have a much more controlled risk, but in terms of your reward, you're able to go for much more than a one-to-one, -one, but something closer to a one-to-two or even a one-to-three. So this is how I'm looking to use the new models. I want to not only improve the entries and take advantage of this current volatility, but also skew the risk to reward ratios so that we can take advantage of better opportunities, especially ones in which we already have the probabilities in our favor. And now I want to get a little greedier and stack even the risk to reward ratio in our favor, see how much we can push the trade with break even stops. I hope you found this video helpful for all stock volatility box members. Stay tuned. This update will be coming out in the next few weeks. And I'll share some more details around how to use these models more effectively. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in our next update.